The man who gave us the scientific concept of the Big Bang worked here, of all places, in this Belgian cathedral. Father George Lemaitre, born in 1894, may be the most important physicist you've likely never heard of. Lemaitre was responsible for the idea that the universe not only is expanding, but that the universe has expanded from a dense state. He called it the primeval atom. Now we call it the Big Bang, but it was his idea. The seed for the idea came from Albert Einstein and his theory of general relativity in the early 20th century. But Einstein himself did not like it. Einstein felt more comfortable in a static, unchanging universe. But Lemaitre took Einstein's chaotic, finite universe to its fiery origin. If Einstein had had the courage of his convictions in some sense, he would have recognized that that the static universe he believed in was not compatible with, with, with the theory that he'd come up with. In general relativity, Einstein proposed that mass warps space and time to create gravity. But if gravity is always pulling in, then what keeps everything from ultimately drawing together into one massive object? Einstein believed there must be another equal counterforce pushing out in opposition to gravity keeping the eternal universe in perfect balance. So what Einstein did was he tweaked his own equations with what is called the cosmological constant. But Einstein was wrong. There was no yin to gravity's yang. Lemaitre correctly believed that there was no cosmological constant. Instead, he found evidence of an expanding universe in Einstein's theories as he studied them in the mid-1920s. Georges Lemaitre took the original equations and saw that they contained solutions which represented an expanding universe. And of course, not too long after that, Edwin Hubble comes along and by his observation shows that the universe actually is expanding. But what was behind this expansion that overcame the push of gravity? Lemaitre proposed something absolutely radical. If the universe is expanding, then in the past it was smaller. Ultimately, in the distant past, it was infinitely small. A primeval atom, or cosmic egg. Perhaps there was this cosmic explosion that set the universe into motion. So he would go to various conferences and tap people on the shoulder, and people would smile at him and, you know, basically humor the man. But few people took Father Lemaitre's cosmic egg very seriously. Nobody really paid attention to Lemaitre for a very long time because it was, he considered saying, oh, you know, this is just sort of an, a somewhat wild stuff. I think there was some resistance to having somebody in the scientific camp and in the religious camp, but did that make it difficult for some scientists to perhaps embrace him as much as they would someone who was not in that position? Probably. As Hubble's observations were refined throughout the mid-20th century, it became clear that our expanding universe fit nicely into Lemaitre's theory of a cosmic egg, one that expanded with so much force that it overcomes the pull of gravity and keeps the universe expanding to this very day. Father Lemaitre truly is one of many fathers of the Big Bang Theory.